Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, a lot of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, since I come into Walmart here, I wanted to check some of the onion prices because you guys have been saying that onions have been skyrocketing at Walmart lately, and you are correct. Three pound bag of sweet onions here for $4.48. That is crazy. Even the little uh, red onions, three pound bag, three twenty-eight. I mean, we can almost find these cheaper anywhere. I know we can find the sweet onions anywhere cheaper. Uh, three sixty-eight for a three pound bag of the white onions. These prices are getting crazy, guys. So I am here Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. I wanted to come here on a Tuesday because the last time we came on the weekend, and, you know, it was low on a lot of products, but, you know, a lot of you guys were saying that it was the weekend. So, I want to come here in the middle of the week when it's a little more quiet. Definitely out of a lot of stuff. Looking at the five-pound bags of Halos here, $6.68. Like, I would expect this from another store, but Walmart seems a little pricey for these. They are $3.98 for the smaller three-pound bag. And I will say, these look a lot better than these ones down here. I don't know if these are just more fresh. Don't really know, but I would definitely pick these over these. So we've been seeing the California navel oranges go up in price lately. I will say these look really good. Four pounds for $4.98 is really not too bad of a price. These used to be $3.98, but it's been a little while. $4.98 now. A couple of you asked about lemons and how they've gone way up in price. No doubt, $3.92 here for a two-pound bag of lemons. That is crazy. Even though they're not in season, I did notice that the watermelons went up a dollar from the last time we were here. They were $7.98 just a little over a week ago, now $8.98. Yeah, looks like they lowered their strawberry prices here. This is good to see. $2.88 a pound. These were $4.48. $4.48 a pound. Not that long ago. $5.58 for a two pound. Um, two pounds are going from anywhere from uh, right around $9 and $4.50 to $5 in most places for one pound of strawberry. So $2.88, $5.58, some good prices here. Good to see that came down. As a matter of fact, if we look to our right here, they have the market side strawberries, 447. I said 448, it was 447. Um, but these were that price too, so I don't know what brought those down, but these ones here are still 447. It does look like grapes are starting to go back down here at Walmart too. The red seedless grapes, $1.68. These were $1.98, and the green grapes were $2.48. So they're back down in price. Good to see this. Good to see the Gala apples here are back down to $3.53. However, the Granny Smith apples are $5.13 for a three pound bag here. The Ambrosia apples, which we don't see these much anymore, they are $5.16 for a two pound, two pound bag. And they have the Pink Lady apples here, $3.97 for a three pound bag. Kind of all mixed up here at Walmart, but look at this. Honeycrisp apples, two pounds. Um, let's see organic on here. Um, yeah, Honeycrisp apples, two pounds for $7.28. That is crazy. Somebody asked about ginger root the other day and that you haven't been able to find it. They do have it at Walmart here. It is $3.58 a pound, which is pretty high for Walmart. We're finding a lot of high prices on produce at Walmart. I will say that the lettuce... Well, $1.98, this was $1.78. It's been $1.98 for a little while, but here's the issue that I have. Oh, that's a little heavier than it was. These were really thin the last time we were here. They do look good though, I will say that. One thing I just noticed here are these little tiny red petite potatoes and the medley mix and the little yellow here, $3.84. Now, the highest that I've ever seen these at Kroger is $3.49. I don't know if these are going up in price, but sometimes Kroger will have them on sale for $2.99. I saw this here, and I was like, wow, Walmart price on these is just crazy. So they have their five-pound bags of Idaho potatoes for $5.38. We can find that cheaper at Kroger. Uh, it's an okay deal, though. Five pounds of the russets here, russet potatoes. It's a rollback offer here. 
$2.98. Regular price on this, $4.63. Wow. That's, I mean, you know, even some of these rollback offers are like, well, how far back? <laughs> I see they have the eight pound bags of russet potato, baking russet potatoes for $8.97. Now we saw these went up at Meyer to $9.49. So these may be going up everywhere, and I just saw the 10-pound bag of the same russet potatoes over here for $6.77. You're better off buying uh, two of these, save uh, 79 cents. So I wanted to check out the Great Value Bread. They still have not put the stickers up on here. A lot of you guys were saying that it's gone up to $1.32, though. So wouldn't be surprised if ours did, too. It was $1.10. But yeah, a lot of people have been saying it's gone up to $1.32. Sara Lee bread down here, $2.93. That's a good price because we've been seeing it for $4.49 at uh, Kroger. What a difference a week makes. So the Skyline Chili 15 ounce cans were $5.83 last week. $6.63 this week. I mean, we love Skyline Chili, but... I don't know, guys. That is that's crazy. I mean, at six dollars, this was way too much, and now six sixty three. I don't know. Wanted to check out the egg situation, even though it's only been a week. They were very low on eggs last week. Wanted to make sure they were still getting them in. Sixty count eggs here, twenty two dollars and seventy three cents. That's probably why they're not selling any. Um, no price tag on the two eighteen count, but someone had said that was eleven something. Uh, and I know it very, oh no, ours is $13.78 for 36 eggs. Wow. $4.72 for 12. $4.72, and I believe it's still $6.93 for the 18 count. I don't see the price on them. It was $6.93 last week, so, or a little over a week ago. I don't know, guys. I mean, they are kind of funny all they have is the uh walmart great value eggs i don't see any other eggs i do see a few of the eggland's best here five dollars and 47 cents for 12 of them uh looks like seven dollars and 17 cents for the eggland's best 18 so only a few pennies higher than the great value pack i don't see the price on the eight count well here's something oh these are 12 eggs for five dollars and 86 cents guys egg prices are just getting ridiculous uh, they really are, but I know a lot of people have been saying that you haven't even had eggs in your, some of your stores, so just wanted to check this one out. Since I was over here by the eggs, I thought I would check out the butter situation. Got the blue bonnet here, $1.63 for four sticks. I mean, that's it's not bad there. Um, let's see. I know that the great value butter was $4.48, and it is still $4.48. That is the salted and unsalted. Now, we've been seeing unsalted butter go out the door. Uh, we saw at Meyer they didn't have any. So, I don't know if something is going on with that. We're, all we're finding is salted butter. So, that's something to think about uh, when you find some unsalted butter. If you use unsalted butter, wouldn't worry too much about the price. I would just buy a couple of them because for whatever reason or another, it is flying off the shelves. They do still have the 8-ounce packs of Great Value Cheese, at least at our Walmart, for $2.22. Uh, the 2-pound packages are now $7.48. Somebody had said that your Walmart was still $6.98. Ours hasn't been that for a little while, but I remember when they weren't getting these in. I'm glad they're getting them in, but again, this was a product where we saw disappear for a while. Came back at a much higher price, so something to think about. Same goes for all the great value sliced cheeses as well. The eight ounce packs of sliced cheese. Uh, yeah, these are 12 slices. Yeah, still eight ounces, $2.22. Does look like the distilled white vinegar has returned to Walmart. This was an issue um, over the last week or two. Couldn't find any distilled white vinegar. Been getting a lot of comments on the channel about it. Looks like Walmart has gotten some in. They've also gotten their great value apple cider vinegar back in. So this is good to see. One issue that Walmart has been having across the country. We get a lot of comments on this too. A lot of the dry rice. A lot of the rice and dry beans have been very low. A lot of these are kind of spread out. Pinto beans here. Let's see, it's 10 pounds for 6.88. That's 
more than 10 pounds. What is that? 20 pounds. I was going to say. Uh, 688 for 20 pounds. The great value pinto beans. Good to see they're coming back in. This was one that was empty there for a while. Not finding a lot of the jasmine rice or basmati rice like people have been asking. It does look like the smaller packs of the ready rice went up here also of the Ben's original ready rice. They do have the basmati in, but it is $2.33 now. You know, this was one of the last places to go up. These were two eighteen after just being uh, at a dollar ninety eight. Two eighteen, not long ago. Now two thirty three. We've been seeing these go up everywhere though. Two fifty nine now at Kroger. We saw them for two seventy nine at Target, which Target used to be a, a good option to get these, and now it's the most expensive. They have some of the fifteen bean soup here. That somebody asked about two dollars and thirty six cents for that and you know i mean it's good to see that they're still getting some in and it is more than we saw the last time for sure um, a lot of the great northern beans that somebody asked about these are two dollars and fifty two cents yeah two dollars and fifty two cents right there uh, and they got the black eyed peas for a dollar sixty six a pound Pasta continues to be a major concern uh, all around Cincinnati, Ohio, and all around the country. We get a lot of comments on it. Uh, no great value spaghetti or thin spaghetti, which some people have asked about. Still 98 cents a pound, but they do have this four, uh, four one-pound packages here for $3.48. That's what I've been saying on the channel lately. We're going to start seeing more and more big packages coming in. So we got a comment on the channel the other day that someone noticed that Walmart had a rollback offer on the Keystone Meats, $8.94. Uh, regular price on this, $9.98. Most places have been selling this for like $10.99, and we've noticed that the chicken and pork have gone up at most places. Uh, it has here too, $9.22. Um, but the chicken is actually on a rollback offer also for $7.44. Uh, they don't even have any pork right now. I don't know if that's on a rollback and they just didn't put a sticker on it. But yeah, it's pretty good deals here at Walmart. I don't know if you can do this online. You may want to check. Um, definitely be worth it to you. Somebody also asked about the Butterfield Farms roast beef. They do have it here at Walmart, $4.16. And they have the beef stripped. The fajita seasoned ones here, $5.78 and four dollars twelve. For the pulled pork and also we have the two packs of Swanson chicken the 12.5 ounce cans for six dollars and 67 cents so not a bad price there considering how expensive it's gotten does look like rollback offers have ended on the canned great value vegetables they are back up to 58 cents uh, and glad to see that they're still 58 cents I had a feeling these were going to be going up and, and I, you know, this is something, if you like great value vegetables for 58 cents, you know, they're 58 cents a can now. So I would, this is something I would still definitely stock up on because who knows when the price is going to change. It could be tomorrow. Wanted to check out some of the dedicated area here for children's medicines here at Walmart. They've got quite a bit. I gotta say, if you're having trouble finding children, I mean, there's some holes. But they've got children's Tylenol, which has been the number one. Now, this is the liquid form. And, yeah, lots of different options here. A lot more than we saw the last time. Some different Equate children's ibuprofen, children's Motrin, different uh, allergy items here. Yeah, this is good to see. You know, and I, re I remember a couple months ago, this was near empty here at Walmart. And good to see they're starting to get the Tylenol back in. Most people have been asking about that one. Wanted to check out the adult over-the-counter medicines as well. They do have some Tylenol, more of their Equate brand. And what's funny is the last time we were here, we saw this kind of missing. It was gone. And now that it looks like they've gotten more in, uh, more Equate than Tylenol, actual Tylenol brand, which is good because it's the same as acetaminophen and Tylenol is getting outrageously expensive. Advil the same way. They've got the Advil... Um, different varieties here and they've got a bunch more of the equate brand which they didn't have they didn't have these two packs the last time we were here seven dollars and 98 cents for these for a thousand uh tablets each one of these has 500 in it 7.98 14.99 for the same thing now at kroger for the kroger brand so almost half the price walmart definitely has more water than they had the last time we were here and 
They've got some distilled water right here. Now it's $1.16 a gallon. This used to be $0.97 cents a gallon, but uh, it's good to see that they've got it in. And they've got some spring water and a bunch of different 24-packs. Uh, they got Ice Mountain down there and lots of great value drinking water. Good to see they're getting the distilled water in. So if you're having trouble finding it, we've been getting a lot of comments on this. If you're having trouble, check out Walmart. We went over this the last time we were here, but it's good to see that they're getting in Fancy Feast. Uh, we've been getting a lot of more comments on that, that uh, stores have been getting it in. 83 cents a can here at Walmart. That's about the cheapest we've seen it. Got some of the Sheba packets in here for 94 cents. They also sell these at Target for the same price. Uh, somebody asked me that question. 73 cents a can for Friskies, but look at this. They're getting a lot in, and... We've got nine lives here uh, in eight packs. I don't see single cans, but an eight pack here for two sixty six. Yeah, okay, lots of multi packs. So this is a lot more than they had last week. They've got more of the tidy cats in here, the cat litter. They've also got the uh, special kitty cat litter here. A little cheaper, you get a little less. But um, I know most people get the tidy cats. I was glad to see that this didn't come back at a higher price. When we were seeing it kind of disappear, which I'm sure a lot of places still are, when something comes back, usually we'll see it for a little bit of a higher price. Still the same price here. As far as dry cat food, um, you know, I mean, mostly bigger bags. Uh, and there, you know, still some huge holes here. But one thing I did notice... They're getting the smaller bags of Meow Mix in. I was afraid that they weren't getting these in at all, seeing how empty it's been. But it looks like there are some coming in, so that's good to see. And they are getting nine lives. We have not seen the dry nine lives in a while. I've been getting a lot of comments on this one lately. Same price as the Meow Mix, $4.48. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Meow Mix is $4.98 now. Okay, so I guess that went up, but it looks like Nine Lives is still four forty-eight. They only have one brand of it here, and, and most of these are gone, of the smaller bags, but they are getting some in, which is good to see. Uh, some of the bigger bags of Meow Mix down here, too. Okay, so one of our longtime viewers had asked if I could check to see if I could find cleaning vinegar. I gotta admit, I had no idea what you were talking about. I thought... Uh, that you meant vinegar and I, I asked somebody here and they said yeah it's over by the Clorox and all that um, <laughs> so I actually found it here cleaning vinegar it is four dollars and seventy eight cents no that's pine saw I don't know what the price is there's no price here for it um, hmm, not surprised on that but they do have it in there's a clear ammonia, and then there's cleaning vinegar, all-purpose cleaner. They've got one thing of it here. I know you said you haven't been able to find it. may want to check Walmart. Um, yeah, I'm glad I asked somebody. I would have never really thought to look here. While we're at it, I thought I would check on the Clorox situation. Um, not much of a situation, but yeah, prices have definitely gone up on them since the last time I've seen them. Uh, Clorox here, $5.98. Are you kidding me? Five ninety eight. I remember uh, a little over a year ago, these were four dollars. For it was like three. It was the cheapest place to get Clorox. It was like three eighty eight or something. Five ninety eight now. Wow. Somebody asked if I would check on Reynolds Wrap. Not particularly at Walmart, but I saw this here. Uh, Seventy five square feet on a rollback offer for four dollars and forty eight cents. I mean, four ninety eight is the regular price, but still, fifty cents is fifty cents these days. They do have the great value aluminum foil here for three dollars and seventy eight cents, so a little cheaper for that. Got some good comments on great value aluminum foil. Uh, we usually get Reynolds wrap if we can find the best deal. Sometimes, uh, you know, Sam's Club. Yeah, you have to buy a big roll of it, but it's definitely worth it when you do the math. Walmart is definitely a lot lower on baby formula than it was the last time we were here. However, they do have these smaller cans of the Similac Sensitive here. $17.46. Good to see they're getting that one in. That's the one we get most comments on. They do have the bigger cans here. 30.2 ounces for $44.88. And other than a couple other options, you know, it's, it's good to see they got a lot of the Similac coming in. And, you know, some of their brands may want to look into those. Always ask your pediatrician. You know, 
what they think is best. Some of the Infamil, they do have some of the Gentle Ease here. Uh, none in the cans from what I can tell, but they do have uh, a lot of the bubs coming in here to Walmart too, so that's good to see. It's been a long time since I've checked some of the coffee prices here at Walmart. Um, that's mostly because their prices here usually aren't great when it comes to coffee. Uh, usually most of the sales are on their brand. This is 32 ounces here for $11.72. That's been the same price for a while. Good to see that a lot of these haven't gone up. I mean, this is a good deal on the uh, 12 ounce thing of Duncan, $7.96. This is right around $9, $8.99 at Kroger, which we've seen some prices on Duncan go down. Uh, this is a 20-ounce thing on a rollback offer for $12.52, so okay deal there. Uh, but I see like the one pound, or you know, the this ain't even one pound anymore. That's got to be 12 ounces. Yep, 12 ounces, Tim Hortons coffee, $6.92. Sounds a little pricey. Uh, they got Javalia down there, which we've gotten comments on, $8.48. Yeah, cheaper than the regular price at Kroger. It's going a little over ten dollars there uh folgers uh here's an interesting one with the classic decaf twelve dollars and 48 cents but this is the 25.9 ounce can not the 19.2 ounce can then they have maxwell house here for right around the same price as it is at kroger they do have the 100 percent colombian here though let's see 24.5 ounces for seven dollars and 86 cents that seems like a pretty good deal most of the classic roasts and everything they got the bigger container i believe this is 42 and a half ounces for eleven dollars and 42 cents it's been that price for a while they got the cafe bastello here for fourteen dollars and 92 cents uh the party size and the chuck full of nuts coffee here which seems like it's coming around more and more these days ten dollars and 92 cents sounds a little pricey Wanted to check on the sugar situation here at Walmart. Uh, four dollars and thirty-three cents for the four-pound bags of Domino, but they haven't had any in a while. Um, they do have a couple of the ten-pound bags, though. Eight dollars and thirty-six cents is the cheapest I've seen that anywhere. Uh, looks like they got the containers back in. Those are five dollars and sixty-four cents. Believe they shrunk. Yeah, this is the three and a half pound. Funny thing, these were, when these first came out, they were four pounds, and then we saw them quickly shrink to three and a half pounds. Uh, and somebody left in the comments that they had checked out their sugar and that it rung up $2.12. Ours says 284. I'm gonna check and see what the prices on these are. A 10 pound here, $6.12. Well, that is all the time I have at Walmart today. One thing for sure, Prices are still going up, and I, I have a feeling we're going to continue to see them go up here. So when we look at some things like the canned goods, that's kind of why I, I talked about the canned goods for a minute, because we're seeing these prices for $0.58, cents, you know, even though they're up from the rollback offer where a lot of them were $0.50, cents, we need to stock up on these things, because uh, the prices could change overnight. Now, I'm not saying run to Walmart or Aldi or some of these other places that have cheap vegetables right now. Just remember for the next time you go, so, you know, because we're probably going to see them go up again. So if we can save a few pennies and stock up on some while we get, it looks like they're getting a lot in. When that rollback offer was going on, when we saw Meyer selling them for 39 cents a can, they couldn't stay on the shelves. Now they're 58 cents a can, normal price, but... You know they're getting a lot in so it'd be a good time to stock up on a few so that you can save a few bucks in the future because they're probably definitely going to be going up i did scan the sugar the four pound bag was two dollars and 84 cents and the 10 pound bag was six dollars and 12 cents so i don't know if it was a special kind of deal maybe at your walmart or something like that but those are the prices i wanted to double check on that uh guys prices are going to continue to go up I, you guys know that i don't i don't like to think that way but over the last year of doing this every day we're seeing things go up all the time when i saw skyline chili go up again in that can for six dollars and 63 cents or whatever ridiculous price that is it just kind of hit home for me because skyline chili is a cincinnati product Nobody should be paying that much for a can of chili. And I, I just think that that's, that's just way too expensive. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.